Now we have Michael Jordan for basketball, we have John Jones for MMA and we have Muhammad Ali in boxing to be the greatest of all time. But in the last couple of days I thought to myself which game is the GOAT when it comes to video games. And now in my 20 years on this planet I've played a lot of great games, games like Skyrim, Red Dead Redemption and God of War were literal masterpieces that I would recommend to anybody. But to this day there has not been a single game that even comes close to the masterpiece of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So the game was released in 2015, so it's been almost a decade since the game came out. And as the title already says, it is the third and final game with Geralt of Rivia aka The Witcher in it. But I mean, what makes this game so special that it's regarded by so many people to be the best game of all time and even to this day? But if you've played The Witcher, you already know how beautiful the open world of The Witcher is. In the first couple of minutes, you already see the beauty of Kaer Morhen. And after spending more minutes and hours in the game, you realize how vast the game is and how many interesting places the game has. Like it's not generated, like in a lot of modern RPG games. Almost every time when I was, when I was on the way to a destination, on the way there, I found an interesting place where, where there was a small castle, some ruins or a lady looking for a pen somewhere in Velen. Games Open World has a crazy variety. You have the tough and dangerous place of Velen, the beautiful big city of Novigrad, or the incredible Viking-like islands of Skellige, and every location of them has such a great atmosphere, like I haven't found an atmosphere like that in a video game in the last couple of years. And now when you play the game, you realize very quickly that this isn't a normal game. It's more like a Lord of the Rings as a video game. As you probably know, the game is based on books by Andrzej Sapkowski, and it has such an immense and vast story that it's almost stupid to skip the dialogues. And every main character of the game is very well written and very interesting to be with. You meet a lot of characters from the first two games which I already made videos about and from the books. And now while The Witcher 3 is the greatest game of all time, for me it has the greatest quest that I have ever played in a video game. Now I won't spoil nothing here, but for those of you who played the game already know how great and how goddamn intense this storyline is. Now this quest alone was more interesting for me than the whole Assassin's Creed Valhalla game and the quests of the game are definitely part that I have to mention here. It doesn't matter if it's a main quest or a side quest, 95% of the quests are so well written and so interesting that it just doesn't make any sense to skip any side quests. Like I have played the game 4 or 5 times and there was not a single playthrough where I skipped any side quests. I did every quest I could do and in most playthroughs I even did all the question marks because even though they are quite repetitive I knew that there are still some rewarding things and interesting places to see. And now the game's music soundtrack is also phenomenal, like sometimes I just listen to it on Spotify and it makes everything I do feel like an adventure. Now even though the game is not new in any way, it has still stunning visuals and looks great and even more incredible after the next gen update from last year. And now to complete the story and the side quest it took me around 70 hours. But the DLCs, like especially the Blood and Wine DLC is way better than most full games and it's only a DLC but I will make a full video on the Blood and Wine DLC and why it's the best DLC I have ever played. So all in all the GOAT debate and the best game ever made is subjective from person to person but I think there are not much, but I think there are not much bad things you can say about The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and for me it's definitely the best game that was ever created. And I hope we will get another great game with The Witcher 1 Remastered and CD Projekt Red don't screw it up like they did with Cyberpunk when it first came out. Because this whole franchise is so incredible, third Witcher game was simply incredible and a masterpiece that I would recommend to anybody. Like it just feels like your own adventure. The choices matter and in every playthrough I did, I found new endings to several quests and things that I haven't seen in the playthroughs before so the replayability of the game is also very high. But for those of you who have played The Witcher 3, you can tell me your experience with the game in the comments and whether you like it as well as I do and regard it as one of the best games ever made. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you are into games like The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. But alright, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.